welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to do something that I haven't done in a very long time. I am going to make a 3D bloom. I am using this mold by Resonable Creations and I am using Estoyo one-to-one -one resin. I'm going to go ahead and start by pouring my resin into the mold so I can add my um, alcohol inks. I've set aside some of the resin for my white. I'm not sure. I think I can still keep going. I mixed up 140 mils, but I need to make sure I leave a little bit at the top because the white does take up some space. I'm using Deco Rom's um, alcohol inks. I'm gonna use lime and blueberry. I'm gonna do, I haven't opened them in a minute, so they're a little crusty. All right, I'm gonna start off with the lime. I'm gonna start with two drops of that in the center. You can see all the dried alcohol ink I got over here. Good thing I didn't open it any closer, huh? <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna do the blueberry around the outside. That is very bright blue. And I'm gonna do, I think I might wanna do, let's see, I got another green over here. I'm gonna do avocado, a drop of avocado in the middle. Two drops of avocado. All right, so while that is spreading and doing its thing, I am going to mix up my whites. Hoping I didn't put too much resin in the mold. It's, like I said, it's been a minute since I've done this. All right, I'm gonna be using my Snow White paste, the one that there's a recipe for in one of my YouTube videos earlier on. So, and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna start off with three, four drops. It's, if I remember right, it's about the same heaviness as Casting Craft. And I don't want it to be super opaque. And it's already starting to get warm, so. I think I'm gonna do one more drop. One more drop. I usually, for cast and craft, would do one drop per 10 mils. So I'm using a little more, but then again, I'm also used to using um, like much more opaque white. So I don't wanna, hopefully I didn't put too much in. All right, I'm gonna put it in my piping bag. My blue is kind of disappeared. I'm gonna put it in my piping bag and I might add a couple more drops of blue. It is pouring rain outside. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not snowing, to be honest. It's really cold. I don't know if you can hear it through the video or not. All right. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple drops of clover. It's kind of like a tealy kind of blue green. There we go. So that's gonna spread out. So while it's spreading out, I am going to, I'm actually gonna take this and kind of swirl it around a little bit. I feel like I should have put less of the resin in there. But we're gonna find out. I am definitely not using all of this white. I just wanted to, 
I always want to make enough. I'm worried I'm going to run out or something. All right. Ugh. I feel like I was not prepared for this. Okay, there's a little string on here I gotta get, okay. All right, so I've got my, my white ready to go. And I think I'm gonna do zigzags like I do for my um, victory pour. And we'll see what that does. Feel like I'm totally off center. I probably am. Of a kind of like a little flower thing in the middle. All right. Um, let's see. Made way too much white. <laughs> All right. Let's bring in some of these. Just to give it some variety. Like that. And do a little swirl in the middle. And we'll go from there. This is deeper than what the molds I normally do my 3D blooms on. So hopefully it does something pretty. We'll find out. All right. I will see you when it's time to unmold. Okay, let's see what we have here. It's been so long since I've done one of these. It's really pretty. I wish I'd left myself enough room to do a back, a back um, background, but I did not. But we'll see here. Oh my gosh, that came out so cool. And it's all so different based on the petal shape I did. I did the zigzags, remember, and not the circles. Oh, that came out so cool. And the crystal edges are clear. Beautiful. And it's got my, using my snow white paste. How beautiful that came out. Ah. Oh. I just love it. I love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.